get my purse, we're leaving. But I was just about to have some cake. Well, this party is being worshipped by the devil, so we need to leave. What happened? Your new girlfriend is trying to bombard my motherhood and take over my children's brains. Oh, you're still here? Oh, speak of the devil, stay 10 feet away from me. What is going on? This blonde bimbo has actually endangered and murdered my child's ability to follow instructions properly. Hmm, okay, well, when I see someone getting bullied, whether it's an adult, a child, whoever it is, especially in my house, I step in. <laughs> Christina, it's not bullying when it comes to my own child. <laughs> okay, bullying, abusive, whatever you want to call it. Honey, why don't you calm down? Everyone's having a good time. Harold? I brought you here to defend me and to go get my purse. I was hoping to get some cake. Harold, I swear to God, I've been drinking their cheap liquor all day and I need to go home. Does she realize there's no alcohol in that? Shh. Let's go. I can't believe they had the audacity to throw me out of my own children's birthday party. You just demanded we leave. Well, I'm calling Janine and I'm telling her all about this. Could I go back to the party while you do this? Janine, you are not gonna believe what my ex-husband just did to me. No, no, I'm talking like police level involvement. Oh, Harold, I thought you guys left. Yeah, I don't really know what the hell she's doing, but um, I just wanted to give the kids a birthday present before I left. Yeah, of course, I think they're inside playing with the new dog. New dog? I love dogs. Oh, and Harold, I did save a piece of cake for you. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need that. Harold, I didn't know you were still here. Hey, kiddos, birthday's not over yet. I got a few more gifts for you. You didn't have to get us anything. Oh, uh, come on now. Whoa, I finally got black nail polish. <gasps> You got me the rainbow shoes? Yep, saw them at the mall, thought of you, so I picked them up. Lily John, drop those shoes. Are you gonna go to mom's this weekend? Uh, no. Oh, come on, I don't wanna go by myself again. Then just don't go. Yeah, but then I feel bad. Why do you feel bad? I don't know, I just don't want mom to think I don't care about her. I don't care about her. Not even a little bit? I mean, maybe like this much, but that's it. Oh, she just texted me and said that she's here. Yikes, good luck. Hi, Jackie, is your sister coming? No, which means I have no one to hang out with, so it's gonna be super boring. Oh, well, you can hang out with me. Can I just invite a friend over? Uh, who? Uh, how about Connor? Oh, no, <laughs> no, his mother had an abortion. I don't want that sort of influence around you. A what? How about Bethany or Cheryl? Mom, those are your friends. Yeah, but they've known you since you were born. How about Danielle? Da Danielle? Is that short for a boy named Daniel? No, it's just a girl in my class. A girl? So your school is sexualizing education now. She's the only reason I'm passing math. Mom, I'm bored. Well, I told you, you can always hang out with me. Fine, what do you want to do? We could clean that room. <laughs> or we could read quietly together. Oh, I have an idea. We can go clean up trash all around the neighborhood and make it look all nice. Oh, you boys come up with the grossest ideas. That's disgusting. Yeah, but don't you care about the environment? Jackie, of course I do. I have a pool. So? So I'm contributing to evaporation. You're welcome. Well, can I just go by myself? No, I'm not having my son buy into that pyramid scheme. How about I get you some lunch? Well, I'm not gonna say no to food. You're awfully quiet back there, just texting away. Who are you talking to? No one. Uh, Amberjack, I need honesty. Who are you texting? No one. Uh-uh, give me the phone, give it to me. Mom's a wackadoo? You need to get out of my car, get out. Okay, it's more environmentally friendly to walk anyway. Get out! What are you doing home? I thought you were with your mom. Oh, mom told me to get out and walk, so I just walked back here. Uh, okay, okay well, come inside, come inside. Amberjack, did you get in trouble already? I don't even know. <laughs> well, now you can just spend the weekend here instead. Uh, it looks like your mom just pulled back into the driveway. We should turn off all the lights and lock all the doors and just pretend that we're not home. Lil, that would be hilarious, but we can't do that. Let's go see what's going on. Where is he? Where? He's inside, he's fine, he just got here. You, you did this. Uh, I didn't do anything. You are the reason that I have no control over my own children. Okay, hold on. I will hold nothing unless it's my child. Mom, I'm not getting back in the car. <gasps> Jackie, baby, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You told me to walk, so I walked home. Well, you should have walked to our home. Mom, your car is rolling down the driveway. What? Oh my God, lock the doors. Bye, mom's car. 911, what's your emergency? Oh my god! Ma'am, what's going on? <laughs> my son! Okay, ma'am, I need you to be a little bit more specific. <laughs> my son is in trouble. I need an Amber Alert. Okay, when was the last time that you saw your son? Painfully long ago. Okay, and where was the last place that you saw him? He's he's with a woman of high criminal activity. He, she leeches off of my ex-husband. Okay, and do you have any reason to believe that your son might have run away? Of course! Okay, How okay, dare you? okay. I just want my son back. I completely hear you. What's your son's name? <sighs> Amberjack. Is this Meredith again? 
No. No, Meredith, I know it's you. You're the only person in town with a child named Amber Jack. And I've told you time and time again, you cannot call an Amber Alert on your child named Amber just because they're not listening to you. Wait, but is he missing? I miss him. Hi, welcome to Mimi's Cupcake Sweet Tooth Emporium with all things cupcakes and cupcakes only as we specialize in cupcaking sugary delights exclusive to that of cupcakes and cupcakes only. What can I get you? Yeah, can I get a hot dog? <laughs> I don't know if, if you heard all that, but um, we only sell cupcakes. This is cupcakes only. Oh, for real? You didn't know this was Mimi's Cupcake Sweet Tooth Emporium with all things cupcakes and cupcakes only as we specialize in cupcaking sugary delights exclusive to that of cupcakes and cupcakes only? I really wanted a hot dog. Well, how about a frosting hot dog? <laughs> Hell yeah. Now I can work with that. Well, all right. You guys got a lot of cupcakes. We sure do. So, do y'all sell weed? Absolutely not. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Is this gonna be quick? I have to make an announcement for the pep rally this evening, so I'm trying to prepare for that. I don't know how long my feelings are gonna take. Okay, and is this something that maybe you could just solve independently? No, that's why I came down here for guidance at the guidance counselor. Oh, hey, Jenna, are you going to the printer? Could you grab that paper? Thank you so much, all right. Okay, what's up? Hmm, um, yeah, so I think I have depression. Aw, how old are you? Seven. <laughs> Where did you even learn such a big word? Uh, life. Okay, hold on, let me stop you right there because I know a lot of young girls your age like to, you know, pick a diagnosis for attention and there's just no biological way that you could have depression at your age. Oh, okay, so when everything I'm feeling aligns with the description of depression, I don't have depression. Right, because at your age, your serotonin is just too high to be depressed. So if I just deny how I'm feeling, it'll go away. What a relief. Depressed, you guys are so cute. Hi, I'm gonna show you how I transform myself into all my different characters. Obviously, I'm nobody right now. I mean, I'm me, but whatever. So I'm gonna start with Amber Jack. He's got a pretty simple outfit, right? And then once I've got the Darth Vader shirt on, I put my hair up into a ponytail or a bun or whatever my hair feels like doing that day. I pull my bangs down. Sorry for the noises outside. Stick the hat on and then I kind of just do whatever I want with the bangs until I like it. And then you have Amber Jack. Lily John is also pretty easy. She just has the zebra shirt. I put my hair up in like kind of like a weird loose ponytail and then again pull all my hair forward like this. Stick on the hat and then I just kind of fix her hair. Obviously it's a mess like this, but play with her hair until I get it how I like it. Lily John. Christina needs a wig and a shirt and since I'm running out of time, I'm just gonna do that real fast. Uh, hold on. Hold on. And now we have Christina. Super easy. 